All right, what's good, everybody? I'm your man, Akeem, and you already know what time it is. It's Friday, which means it's time for me to give you my key matchups for this week of the NFL season, plus some quick tips for fantasy football play. I'm going to start with the matchup with Detroit against the San Francisco 49ers. Both teams are surprise teams now. San Francisco is 4-1, while Detroit is undefeated, along with the Green Bay Packers, the only two undefeated teams left in the league, and both teams are having a great season. But I have to go with the Lions in this matchup because of Calvin Johnson. He's having a big year leading all receivers and touchdown receptions. Plus, he's having a great connection with um, Matthew Stafford. Them two are having a great chemistry. Matthew Stafford's actually pulling some Pro Bowl-type numbers, and I think they're going to lead the way for the Lions over a good San Francisco defense. Next game to look at, an NFC South game between the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to have to go with the Atlanta Falcons because they lost last week at home to Green Bay, and they're not trying to ha suffer two back-to-back -back losses at home. And I think they really need to pull a big win over the Carolina Panthers because it's in, it is a division game. But look out for Cam Newton, who is actually second in fantasy football points, and he is just a rookie. I think he's going to pull out good numbers, but not enough to beat the Falcons. Next game to look at, a New York rivalry between the Giants and the Buffalo Bills. I'm going to have to go with the Bills in this one because of Eli Manning, he's known for throwing a lot of interceptions. He was one of the top interception throwers last season, and um, I think he's going to have a tough matchup against this um, Buffalo defense defense who is underrated. They have a good defense. Nick Barnett, the emergence of uh, Sean Merriman, he's actually making a good comeback. They have a decent secondary, and I think the Giants are going to struggle at home against the Bills. Plus Fred Jackson, who is leading all fantasy football uh, running backs in points. He's having a big season, and I have mentioned him a lot. He's having a good year, so I'm going to have to go with the Buffalo Bills and keep surprising everybody in the NFL. Next game to look at, an NFC East matchup, an important NFC East matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. Philadelphia really needs this win. Now, I have to mention their defense. A lot of people, including myself, have either dropped their defense from the fantasy play or put them in the bench. Now, for the people, for the people who have decided to stick with this defense, this is a do-or-die game for them. If they don't get at least 15 points in this matchup, drop them like a bad habit. And that's all I really need to say at, about this. Now, as far, as far as the winner of this game, I'm going to have to go with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles because they really need to win and they really need the win and they have the talent to beat the Washington Redskins. Another um, fantasy tip, I think you should bench Santana Moss for this matchup and start Jabbar Gaffney over him as your third receiver. Reason why, Philadelphia's defense has not been playing up to par, but they have been consistent in stopping the number one wide receiver from many teams in the NFL, like Rody White of the Atlanta Falcons, Hakeem Nix of the New York Giants, and Steve Johnson of the Buffalo Bills. They held all three of them to under 30 yards receiving, and I think Santana Moss is going to struggle in this matchup, and Wetch Grossman is going to use more of Jabbar Gaffney in this game, use him more as a target. So I think you should drop um, Santana Moss for this week and start Jabbar Gaffney over him. Next game to look at, New England is going to be hosting the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to have to go with the Patriots in this one. Wes Welker is leading the NFL and receiving yards. He's having a big season, a deep ball threat for the um, Patriots, and Tom Brady's favorite target. And I think these two are going to have a good game in this matchup against a good Dallas defense. Tony Romo's an adequate quarterback. He's been pretty con um, consistent, struggling a little bit, but he's actually bouncing back. But I'm going to have to go with the New England Patriots in this matchup. Another next matchup to look at, another NFC South matchup between the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the New Orleans Saints. I'm going to have to go with Drew Brees and the Saints because of their maturity and their experience. The Duck, the uh, the Bucks are still young and up and coming. Plus, they do not have LeGarry Blunt for this week. He is out this week due to a knee injury, which means Ernest Graham is going to get the bulk of the carries. And for fantasy football plays, start Ernest Graham this week. I think he's going to have at least 11 to 15 points, might even more. But I think um, not the, as far as the game, I'm going to have to go with the Saints over the uh the Bucks in this matchup. Next game to look at an important um, NFC South, NFC North matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. I'm gonna have to go with the Bears in this one because they really need to bounce back. And Brian Urlacher kind of lurched out on his teammates last week in their loss to the Lions, and he's a little disappointed in their team's performance. Plus, Jay Cutler really needs to step up. Really, the offensive line needs to block better for Jay Cutler, protect him a lot longer so he can have some more time to throw to his receivers. Jay Cutler was scrambling. All all over the field last week against Detroit Lions, and I think that offensive line needs to step
step up this week. Now, the, now Minnesota is still struggling at the quarterback position. Now, Donovan McNabb has not been doing much better, as good as uh, Jay Cutler. And they're both struggling at quarterback, but they still got AP, Adrian Peterson. He's having a great season, one of the leading rushers in the NFL. And I think he's going to be their only, the Bears defense's only problem in this matchup. So I'm going to have to go with the Bears in this game. And then the Monday night football game matchup between the New York, Gi the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. Miami is still winless, but for the um, past couple of games, New York Jets have not won a game. They've been struggling offensively. Their defense has been giving up points, and I think if they, they lose to Miami this week, their season could be going down the drain, and they cannot afford to lose this matchup. So I, I'm going to have to go with the Jets because they're at home, and it's a pressured game for them, and they really need to win this matchup. Another tip for fantasy football play, um, a couple of race concerns for Cedric Benson because of his three-game suspension, but the Bengals do not expect the NFL to um, make a decision on Benson's case for another three to four weeks. So it's okay to start Cedric Benson this week against the Indianapolis Colts. You shouldn't worry too much about that. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is next Friday for week seven of the NFL season. Thank you for watching today's blog from Sports News Insider. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.